one of my constituents was told that his testicles are not equal. Lord, so that they, my cons to tell me what are the guidelines. Lord, so that they, my cons I am speaking on behalf of the people of Tesosa. And that issue has been rampant. People complaining. Women can know the, that the, the, the speaker, I think. Uh, that. I, I don't know. We were just talking about planting the trees and climate change, and this conversation just got away from us. <laughs> you're you're going to love this, guys. You want to laugh? Grab a drink and listen to the Kenya Senate. This one, <laughs> this one just went. Wow. <laughs> We are saying let us plant trees, let us plant, but what are we doing about deforestation? Can Thank I ask you. the last one that has been requested by the public? <laughs> Go ahead. A member of the public has asked me to ask Honorable Dwale, what is your connection with the Juja International Abattoir in Murima in Juja? It has environmental wastage. I don't know what that means. Probably you can uh, give your thoughts on that. Thank you. Let me yes, start, uh, let me start with uh, something Murima Juja. Maybe the people who I sell my fattened bulls take to many slaughterhouse. If they buy and take it to a slaughterhouse, that is the only relationship I have. I don't own slaughterhouse. I sell to Farmer's Choice. I sell to Kenya Meat Commission. I'm a very serious livestock keeper. And I do uh, what we call feedlot. Two, so ask that person, maybe he's looking for another dweller. Uh, let me ask you about, let me answer about recruitment. I refuse to pick your call and many other people's calls because of corruption. It's because of the corruption. You wanted me to employ for you people. And many members of parliament will agree with me when even they send me text. I said, please go to the nearest sub-county recruitment center. So I'm very sorry, Andre Massey. If I didn't pick your call, I was scared you'll ask me to recruit somebody for you. And that is the level of how I abhor corruption. Two, I think when I went, is the only recruitment that I did under my leadership. The only one. And the speaker said it's a system, systemic. Systemic. It was systemic. Okay, informing. Uh, uh, but uh, chairman, speaker, I, 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 I must uh, agree if I want to be informed. Okay, point of order. I remember, I remember some of the standing orders. I know, I point know. of order, speaker. Let's hear her. I, my, my call. No, why the, the, I, <laughs> Honorable Speaker, I was calling the Honorable CS to seek clarification with respect to the concerns that were raised by my constituents that those who were successful and had reported to the training camp were being chased away over flimsy reasons. And I, and I think I can quote, one of my constituents was told that his testicles are not equal. That is why he's being dismissed or returned from the training camp. So I wanted to seek clarification from the CS to tell me what are the guidelines for one to be recruited. Somebody who is successful, he has already reported, and is being chased away. I wanted it to, to, to secure that, that so that they, my constituents that not lose as a representative yes. of the people of Minnesota. Mr. Speaker. Oh, yes, what's the point of Okay, very, very sad, very sad indeed. And my constituent lost that slot because sad. I could not get the CS to clarify. But we hear you. Yes, sir. In fact, I had to look for a chairman of a committee to call the CS on my behalf because I thought because I'm a small person, he can't pick my. You are an He MP. actually picked, but you I was not helped. I was not helped. I am speaking on behalf of the people of Tesosa. Good. <laughs> but you are vetting him on behalf of Kenyans. Yes. yes. Kenyans, yes. and it did not only happen to Teso South, many, many Kenyans were returned from the training camp. Pardon me, Speaker. Amid all the protests and killing we're having in Kenya today, what's on the docket? <laughs> yeah, I don't know exactly what's on the docket. If we can just talk about maybe testicles or something like that. She's still and going. we are told those slots were sold again to some waiting rich guys with 1700000 It cannot continue.
And we made it very clear to the CS nominee for defense that it should not repeat itself next time. Yes, Jeanette. Mr. Speaker, I want to sympathize with uh, my colleague. And that issue has been rampant, people complaining. But the only thing I'm wondering with is if the CS of defense by then could do measurement of testicles. It's what I don't know. That's what I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, let me, because uh, it's a, uh, Mr. Speaker, let me make, let me make it very clear yeah. <laughs> that the grounds given for the rejection of that uh, recruit from Teso South is valid. Next year, if such a person comes, he will not be recruited into the <laughs> Kenya Defense Force. Mr. Speaker, Kenya Defense Forces recruitment is different from the recruitment of the police. When people go are recruited at the sub-counties and they come, a very serious uh, medical checks takes place. A number of people are sent because of medical ailments. And I think the former Vice but Chief of Defense. Are testicles and ailments? Yeah. There were people. Women can know that. Mr. Yeah. Yeah. Speaker, I think. Uh, I think. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, if you allow me to finish, there are many. The testicles that are about is one of them. There are many, and the Chairman of Defense will agree. Point they of measure. Order. Point of order. <laughs> let, let, let me finish before the point of order. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, there are many colleagues, there are many colleagues, there are many leaders who sent me their, why their person has been chased. And in, a, in 10 minutes, the leadership of KDF could give me one, two, three, four reasons, measurements. measurements including. So, so I am sure them. the they next, women to assist them not, only, not only on this. So Mr. Speaker, <laughs> so Mr. Speaker, uh, there are certain criteria. There are many. And those who leave, they are not replaced. <laughs> and I think let us not discuss, uh, with your permission, the Kenya Defense Forces in a very negative. They, they, have, a, they have a special place in that. But uh, the chairman of defense can call the generals in mm. camera and uh, you, you are now talking about testicles. <laughs> they will tell you something about even the teeth. They will tell you many things. And some of these things is because when you go, the, the, the training of the Kenya Defense Forces is so vigorous that you don't risk to take somebody who will die in the course of the training. So don't compare it with how the police are trained. Don't compare it with how the Kenya prisoners are trained. But I am sure the information, the reasons why many, including uh, my sister, my Shimiwa, Mary Emase. And please, uh, going forward, uh, 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 <laughs> if, you, if it was in camera, Mr. Speaker, I would even tell you more. But now that it's in public, I don't want to I say saw that. What's your point of order? Point of order, <clears throat> Mr. Speaker. You know, the issue raised by Honorable Boy Mase is something that is out there in the... Beverly, I wanted that application on my desk by noon, and I don't see it. Oh, what's that? You gave me two? Two applications on my desk? Uh, oh, oh, okay, I got them, I got them. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... We'll go with this guy. <laughs> oh, sometimes you just gotta laugh. We'll see you on the next one, ladies and gentlemen. God bless. <laughs>